Okay, this tree right here with the orange flowers on it, it's called Fleur de Maya. And the universe is great. You will always have uh, obstacles, road bump, and things that will hinder you. But the moral is to remain steadfast, calm, keep your posture, remember your purpose and why you're out doing this. Because I met some gent gentlemen that provide me the name of this Fleur de Maya. And it coincides with today's video. <laughs> Thank you. I met another great soul right there. Morning. She take said she video, scored. She scored all these all right. nice goodies for right, so under fifteen. This was meat. This is meat, so that's different. Yeah. I only spent forty bucks on meat too. All right. So I shop and I get the old veggies, but I don't yeah. let them spoil. Right. So I got two big bags of potatoes. Yeah. I got these mixed bags that have all kind of stuff in them. Okay, sweet. Big bag of cucumbers, big bag of sweet potatoes for a wow. dollar. Onions, bell peppers, all a dollar. Awesome, man. <laughs> yes, they don't even do dollar bags hardly that much, but sometimes they do bananas. Yeah. And more like mixed stuff, even an apple, and then bam. Coconuts. You can always get the free coconuts. They take the they take the freaking juice out, but they leave the coconuts. Yeah, but that's still better yeah, than. So that was free. Yeah. And then I go to the I go to the factory. Okay, running double. This is only six dollars because I buy running the ends. Double? I don't need fancy salami. Yeah. Okay. I just buy the ends. It'll fill you up anyway. This is only like five something because I just buy the junior bacon. Okay. These you don't. Oh, these are the Chinese. Okay. You know that. Those are bones for the pork. But when I go to the factory, look mm -hmm. how much meat is on the pork bones. Wow. Yeah, I go through and I grab it. Okay, I buy these for a dollar at the factory, mm -hmm. and I turn them into like a lard that's really healthy, and I make mm -hmm. pie crust out of it. Okay. They're only a dollar. Sweet. And then everything else is like two dollars cheaper. Yeah. So. Yep. Wow, that's great information right yes, there. Yes, if you go to the Running W factory, it's right outside of San Santa Elena. Mm -hmm. They come in actually on Saturday. Yeah. And they sell it cheap without the tax. Okay. But sometimes they run out or you gotta wait in line. Mm -hmm. I just go out to the factory and get it for like stupid cheap. Right on. Way cheaper than the store. <laughs> and then there's the Flor de Maya in the back room again. Okay, today's video is about the Mopan Maya. And know that there's no word as Mayan, okay? It's just Maya. There's no such thing as Mayan. Okay, this is a view from Cajal Pitch subdivision. Bear with me because I'm excited about the view as well. I'm enjoying it as much as. And I'm trying to remain calm as I record. Because <laughs> I definitely got excited just now. <laughs> just being able to see the view there. It was just, woof. I just had to take it one more time. Okay. The Mopan Maya moved to Belize in 1886 from a region known as Flores Petén in Guatemala, escaping, escaping taxation and forced labor. This amazing people and owners here allow me the permission to record the door. Um, 
so once the um, the Mopan Maya decided to flee from taxation and forced labor they decided to head eastbound so I'll give you a little bit of history they settled in Toledo in a town called San Antonio and they also settled other villages in Cairo district so in 2010 census 11,000 Belizeans reported their ethnicity as Mopan Maya all right I'm going back to this San Antonio uh, name there are several different communities or villages with the name San Antonio you have some down south and then you also have some uh, I do believe up north and then you have some in Cairo district so the Mopan Maya originally settled near modern day Pueblo Baje or Veja bear with me I'm not good at pronouncing Spanish names in current day Guatemala then the official of Guatemala claimed that area so the Mopan Maya packed up and head east in 1889 they moved into the eastern part of the region founded uh, under the territorial name of British Honduras current day Belize and they found several different settlements under the name San Antonio so now if you can see that's the smoke off in the distance I hope I'm capturing it that will be uh, the Dr. Alejo Pante Forest or uh, Medicinal Reserve trails over there and that area would be a San Antonio area um, village named San Antonio as well and it's up in the Mopan Mountains the Maya Mopan Mountains or the Maya Mountains I'm getting a little carried away with this Mopan name <laughs> And that right there is called the tourist plant it has um, medicinal purpose or use for if you get sunburn but it also has other medicinal properties as well it's called the tourist plant See if we can try to get a little closer to it. Then let me take a second and see how I can zoom in. See how some of it is kind of like peeling off, just like human flesh. There. There's another tourist plant right there, but I am just in awe of the flowers. Any plants that yield flowers like that, I am. I love it. Look how beautiful that looks. Oh man. Okay, someone told me that this plant or the fruit of this plant, uh, the toucan, possibly scarlet macaw, but mainly toucan would consume it and the gentleman said no. He said no due to the fact that um, it doesn't have any flesh. Ooh, check that out as well. So more than 53% are mixed indigenous, 25% are Creoles, about 11% are Maya.
then about 7% are Afro American Indians. Caracol is the largest Maya site you can visit, and while visiting there, you can see the Chiquibol Forest Reserve. This is the road that heads to Benke, uh, Sokot, and Clarissa Falls, and it goes, it links between Guatemala, which is Melchor de Mencos, Melchor de, Melchor de Mencos, and Benke. So, Caracol is the largest Maya site. And um, you can see the Chiquibol Forest Reserve from the largest uh, temple. I'm repeating the info because of the noise. So they are 53% mixed indigenous, 25% Creole, about 11% Maya, 7% afro American Indian. Mayans, they ate maize, squash, beans, chili peppers, meat, tomatoes, avocados, pineapple, pumpkin, sweet potato, deer, armadillo, monkey, guinea pigs, turtle, iguana, fish, lobster, and shrimp. Pineapple is originally found in South America in the region of Southern Brazil, Northern Argentina, plus Paraguay. So pineapple was domesticated before the arrival of Cristobal Colón in Brazil. Pineapple cultivation was also introduced to India by Portuguese in 1548. The Maya Mopan also ate tomatoes, a native of South America. Okay, I found paradise within paradise, heaven found. Bananas are not native to the Western Hemisphere. They are from Indonesia and two other countries in Asia. Bike racks too. Tomatoes is native to South America. Plus there are several different species still found growing in the wild in the Andes. Brought to Mexico, domesticated and cultivated there 500 BC years ago. Sweet potatoes originated in the tropical region South and Central America now mainly produced in China. Sweet potato was introduced to China in the year 631 years ago. Squash are the oldest known crop, 10,000 years by some sites in Mexico City. The seed and flesh became important part of the pre-Columbian Indian diet in, both in South and North America. Beans is a Central and South American vine. A 
Avocado originated in Mexico, South and Central America. Avocado trees were first planted in Florida in 1833 and then in California in 18, mm -hmm. six, 1856. Now California mass produce most of the avocados for North America. Second, Florida. Third, Hawaii. Pumpkin seeds. <laughs> My bad, I jumped the gun there. So pumpkin originated, originated 9,000 years ago. Chili peppers, East and Central uh, Mexico, some 6,000 years ago. But the chili pepper was cultivated uh, across the region which is Central America, North America, South America, independently. It was cultivated independently across the, the Western Hemisphere. In locations, Central America, Peru, and Bolivia. The Mayans were also known to brew a form of beer from corn slash known in their language maize. Plus, they also made a porridge mixture from it. Potatoes is a South American item, primarily Peru, and in extreme north, west, northern western uh, Bolivia between 8,000 and uh, 5,000 BCE. So this is JC Park. So beans is a central and South American uh, item grown on a vine and there are several different types of strands and species of beans it's kind of funny when you go on these journeys and adventure about life love unity and universe then it starts to shrink and show you how small or how tiny we are and it starts to de demolish diminish and destroy the state of bliss that people attach their identity to that we are separate individual when we're all interconnected and we are linked and chained to one another.